everybody welcome to a beautiful day here in ohio i am out for a walk in my neighborhood i didn't plan to be at home this weekend uh, i've actually been home now for two days uh, this was a completely unplanned return trip to the house i was just home for 10 days starting labor day weekend i left out tuesday morning and i was home for 10 days getting a bunch of appointments accomplished with the VA, things that you can't miss, you know, those annuals that everybody has to go to. And I'll tell you guys, from a health standpoint, you better get your annual checkups. And most importantly, this isn't a health video, but you guys need to get your labs done, get your blood work done. You know, that's like uh, having oil analysis done on your engine. You know, you, you guys will take care of that Cummins and that Packard and that Detroit and that Cat and everything else but you won't get your own oil checked. <laughs> get your oil checked, all right? Have your labs done at least once a year, believe me. They will tell you a lot and your doctor a lot about what's going on with you. So just get it done, it's a good thing. And the older you get, get your prostate checked, all right? Steve Jobs, very smart guy for being pretty damn stupid, didn't get his prostate checked. Ended up prostate cancer, gone, billionaire. Guess it doesn't matter, does it? Get yourself checked out. He could easily be alive today, except for his stubbornness and ignorance for being a very smart man. Moving on from all that, I was home last week getting a bunch of appointments out of the way and whatnot. Monday had some VA appointments up in Cleveland and I left out on Tuesday morning. Great, starting a 22, 23 day tour on the truck is gonna be out till the end of the month. Went down to Grove City, if you go back to my previous video. Actually, I don't even think it was a video, I think it was some shorts that I put out. I picked up a load of resin down near Columbus and was taking it down to Knoxville. Well, when I was loading, I noticed that uh, my vat can was filling. It was the second load in a row. That means more than likely, I have some finger filters in that vat can that are going bad and uh, was going to have to get with Nick about getting to Little Rock or somewhere to get those fixed. But, you know, we made it through. We got the load done. Ended up putting a lot of product out of that vac can. I did into the customer's spill bins. They're not going to be happy when they see it, but that's what they're there for. And um, got the load done, got down the road. Tuesday night, probably about 11 o'clock at night, I woke up, Gizmo and I, sweating our butts off. Like, what the heck is going on? Here the APU had shut down with a fault code and it was the same fault code, same issue that I had had back in June with it when I had the APU and the truck back over to Thermo King to get it fixed and looked at. It's an overpressurization in one of the systems, but they had told me then that because all the coolant systems in this and everything run through the entire truck that shares a coolant system and whatnot, Whenever you have those, get it in, okay? It's probably not completely and totally urgent, but you need to get it in. So I'm thinking to myself, I'm starting a 23 day tour out here on the road and I'm not gonna be able to shut my truck off for that entire 22 to 23 days unless I'm lucky enough to get up north where it's you know, a really nice evening where we can get some sleep. And that's probably unlikely. I would think it'd be more likely that I'd be down south where it's still 95 to 100 and I'm gonna to have to idle that truck nonstop for three straight weeks. I'm thinking I'm not gonna do that. So I got to thinking, okay, what's the best options here? Well, the first and foremost option was getting the customer their product. Customer is king, definitely gonna get up the next morning early and get down the road and deliver this resin to Clinton, Tennessee. And that's what I did. I had emailed Nick before I ever left the truck stop I was at. Hey, heads up, don't plan anything for me. I'm having truck issues. Uh, I'll let you know in the morning what's going on, but don't plan a loot. That way, when he came into work, 7 a.m., that email was there and he knew what was going on, at least as far as planning for me. So while I was en route in my mind, I'm thinking to myself, okay, do I put this truck into the dealerships in Knoxville, which have a bad reputation for being a black hole Thermo King and Peterbilt. You know, once your truck goes in, it never comes out. One of those situations. Or do I do the 460 miles home, put it in my dealership here at home where I know they'll get right on it 
and get me out a lot quicker. But then I got to eat the miles coming back up. It's going to be a day's travel to get home. Hmm. Lap one, 2008. Well, lap one's done. Out for a walk isn't that great. There's one mile in. Guys, get out and walk. Okay, get your exercise and your labs and your appointments. Moving on. So I made the choice to come home. And I'll tell you, I think it was the best choice all the way around. And what I want to let you guys know is don't be afraid to put that truck in the wind. There's times where eating those empty miles and bringing that truck back to the house and putting it in your local shop is definitely more beneficial than trying to find the closest dealership, especially depending on the problem. This one, I thought to myself, you know, last time this problem took two, three days to get fixed because they had to fix it, they had to run it, they had to troubleshoot it and things of that nature. And I'm thinking to myself, if I'm down there in Tennessee, I'm gonna be in a hotel room for minimum of two or three days. And then we're coming up on a weekend. Both of those dealerships down there are closed on the weekend, just like mine is here. But I'm thinking to myself, I could easily be stuck down here for six nights in a hotel. Well, that would suck, right? So not only that, but 130, 140 a night, I want to, it's gonna cost me 800 and some dollars just in hotel rooms. That's no fun. And then I'm gonna have Ubers to get there. By the time it's all said and done, it's gonna be well over a thousand dollars out of my pocket just to be delayed and have lodging, food, and transportation. And as well as I've got Gizmo tied up in a hotel room. I'm thinking, this no, this isn't happening. So I immediately thought to myself, no, the choice is simple. I'm going the 460 miles back home. It's gonna cost me $175, $180 in fuel. Big deal. It's a lot less than a thousand and all that other BS. So that's what I did. And as luck would have it, <laughs> I made the right choice for sure. Because Thermo King here started on my truck immediately yesterday morning. They ran into issues trying to get the software to save in the ECM. They ran into issues trying to get the fault codes to clear. Uh, they were still working on my truck today. It's Friday afternoon. And they called me a little while ago and said, hey, uh, it's probably best that, you know, we keep the truck and let this thing work through the weekend to make sure we've got it good so we know we got it fixed. And I said, well, absolutely. I don't wanna come and get it and take off and then end up down the road a little bit and have the same issue. Now I gotta go somewhere else and sit forever or run the truck again and bring it back. I'd rather be down once than down multiple times. So that was definitely the right choice because I would have been in a hotel room more than likely all weekend, as I said, in Tennessee until probably Tuesday. The other part about this I live not far from Mac Trailer, as I've said in previous videos. I contacted Mac a little while ago after I talked to my dispatcher to make sure it'd be okay. And as soon as I get my truck back Monday morning, I'm taking the trailer to Mac to get them to look at those fingers. And again, to just take a look at this vacuum can issue that I'm having. They built the trailer. They'll be able to take a look at it and get it squared away and make any repairs necessary. So they'll get all that done. I'll be back on the road Tuesday morning of next week. So is it a planned stay at home? Definitely not. Is it a productive stay at home? Well, yeah, compared to the alternatives. Uh, I would much rather be broke down here at the house, be able to get out in my neighborhood, do what I need to do, spend some time with my family. Okay, certainly not making money, but I'm not losing money as far as you know cost either. I would much rather have made the decision as I did to come home and spend this time here being productive, family time, etc., cetera, than being completely unproductive, alone, sitting in a damn hotel somewhere, okay, uh, wishing I would have made the choice to come home. Why do I tell you guys this? A lot of very intelligent people out there, you already know this, but I'm gonna say it anyhow. Weigh all of your options. Think about the big picture, okay? If I do this, what's it gonna cost me? Where am I gonna end up? If I do this, where's it gonna end up? A lot of times people think automatically, I've gotta to go to the closest dealership. Now, if your truck is throwing issues, it's gonna shut it down, put it in a D-rate and all that, of course, you better find your closest place or you're gonna end up somewhere on a hook on the back of a wrecker. I didn't have that in this scenario. If you have a situation where you can move that truck and you can run it, uh, think of the alternatives and what it would take to get that truck home. I'm gonna tell you guys this, if I was 800 miles away from home, I was probably still coming home. 800 miles is still cheaper still cheaper than six or seven days in a hotel 
okay? 460 miles cost me 180 bucks. All right, that means that 800 miles would have cost me 300, 350 bucks tops. Again, it would have cost me a thousand to live in Tennessee with hotel rooms and everything else than it was to come home, even if it would have been 800 miles. So don't lose sight of that, guys, okay? Get the customer their product if you can. Put that truck in the wind and get home if you can. And do that breakdown at the house, especially if it looks like it's going to be a four or five day ordeal. Just a little bit of business sense, a little bit of business 101, okay? Profit and loss, okay? Cost effectiveness, things of that nature. Hope you guys are having the best day of your life. Jimmy's Road Life, L-Y-F-E at gmail.com. If you're interested in Bruce Oakley, genfit330 at gmail.com. If you're interested in any health, uh, nutritional coaching, and personal training. Hope you guys have a great weekend. I'll be back out next week. God bless you. Look at this beautiful day. We're going to finish this walk. We're going to enjoy it. Peace out. Bye-bye.